Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Please log in to access your profile. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Confirm psychological profile. Confirm military specialization. Confirm facial identification. Profile reconstruction complete. Identification confirmed. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call.
Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want and kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? 
I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. 
What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the spectrum. And he wants that beacon. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. Got 
some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out.
This is the dig site. The beacon was right here and must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh god, they're still alive! What did the Geth do to them? Thank the Maker. Hurry! Close the door! Before they come back! What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. <clears throat> oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head! Just a little bump on the head. Let him sleep it off. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Did you notice a Turian in the area? No, I'm sorry. We haven't left the shed since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? Miraculous new technologies? Groundbreaking medical advances? The possibilities are endless. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander.
Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck.
Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. You're saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Your call's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this.
Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down!
Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Immediate... Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Dr. Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our EXO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. 
Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander.
Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. 
What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. How come the Bolas were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is hand-picked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel.
just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. Please do not... Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You... Behind me is the spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. I'd like to know more about the Keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Citadel regulations protect the Keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the Tower. Any particular reason there are so many Keepers in this area? The Keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the Tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the Keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The Keepers also make frequent appearances in the Council Chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Who are you? This one's face name... Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the Council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. 
Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson, he's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's den. 
It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests too. Who cares if we get a seat on the Council? What's the big deal? If the Council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the Council, we'll be able to influence those rulings, protect our own interests, no more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the Council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his Geth. Problem solved. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars, it causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. So, this is where the Council passes judgment on all us little folk, huh? Ever get the feeling ran over our heads, Commander? Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a Keeper. 
all collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Turian runs around with his geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Back off, Rex. Fizz told us to down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fizz's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian C-Sec officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turian set him up. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around.
Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The Heroes Fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine. Ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it in peace. Maybe it's not true. Parkin's an ass. I bet he's just messing with our heads. You're probably right. Still, I'd like to hear what the captain has to say about all this. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut, or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Shepard gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? 
No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. <laughs> Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. 
We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. I think we're gonna get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Right there, don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like Fist anyway. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. I surrender! Tell me where the quarry is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the quarry is, but I know where you can find her. The quarry isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. I'm in charge here. You ever pull another stunt like that? It was the only contract I had left. And don't we have something more pressing to worry about? That Quarian's dead if we don't go now.
Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. I couldn't trust him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the Conduit. Any idea what that means? The Conduit must have something to do with the Beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The Beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. 
They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Commander Shepard, could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I have requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Bacha. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nerali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself.
Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Your wife is coming home, Mr. Batya. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this Council, and it was a human who exposed him. I've earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward. Good 
It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs. You are the first human Specter, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. What's my first mission? We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Three hundred years ago, the Geth drove my people into exile. We asked the Council to wipe the synthetics out, but they ignored our pleas. Maybe if they listened, we wouldn't be here now. Warrians messed up the whole galaxy when you let the Geth break free. Do your people ever talk about it? Do the Krogan talk about starting a foolish war that resulted in the Turian sterilizing your people? All the time. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Saren's not going to get away this time. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. 
stopped Saren from getting the conduit, and we stopped the Reapers from returning. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. The Asari were the first species to discover the Citadel. When the Salarians arrived, it was the Asari who proposed the establishment of the Citadel Council to maintain peace throughout the galaxy. Since then, the Asari have served as the mediators and centrists of the Council. An all-female race, the Asari reproduce through a form of parthenogenesis. They can attune their nervous system to that of another individual of any gender and of any species to reproduce. This capability has led to the unseemly and inaccurate rumors about Asari promiscuity. Asari can live for over a thousand years, passing through three stages of life. In the maiden stage, they wander restlessly, seeking new knowledge and experience. When the matron stage begins, they meld with interesting partners to produce their offspring. This ends when they reach the matriarch stage, where they assume the roles of leaders and counselors. The second species to join the Citadel, the Salarians are warm-blooded amphibians with a hyperactive metabolism. Salarians think fast, talk fast, and move fast. To Salarians, other species seem sluggish and dull-witted. Unfortunately, their metabolic speed leaves them with a relatively short lifespan. Salarians over the age of 40 are a rarity. The Salarians were responsible for advancing the development of the primitive Krogan species to use as soldiers during the Rachni Wars. They were also behind the genophage bioweapon the Turians used to quell the Krogan Rebellion several centuries later. Salarians are known for their observational capability and non-linear thinking. This manifests as an aptitude for research and espionage. They are constantly experimenting and inventing, and it is generally accepted that they always know more than they are letting on. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the First Contact War of 2157, which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. The second speech, roughly 1,200 years ago, the, the Assar... 50,000 years ago, the Protheans were the only spacefaring species in the galaxy. They vanished in a swift galactic extinction. Only the legacy of their empire remains. They are believed to have built the mass relays and the Citadel, which have allowed numerous species to explore and expand throughout the galaxy. Prothean ruins are found on worlds across the galaxy. While surprisingly intact for their age, functioning examples of Prothean paleotechnology are rare. Time and generations of looters have picked their dead cities and derelict stations clean. 
Some believe the Protheans meddled in the evolution of younger races. The Hanar homeworld of Kaje, for example, shows clear evidence of former Prothean occupation. The presence of a former Prothean observation post on Mars has caused a rebirth of interventionary evolutionists among humans. These individuals believe the god myths of ancient civilizations are misremembered encounters with aliens. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the set. Like Udina. She wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. I trusted you. You betrayed me. It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human Spectre, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. I want to know the truth about you and Saren. I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. We had intel on a rogue... A lot... We... The plan was simple. Sneak into the plan... The only thing I care about is stopping right, Saren. Commander. It's no good living in the past. What do you know about the Artemis Tau cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. 
Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our order. They're in before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. We all know what happened on Eden Prime. We saw the destruction, we saw the bodies, we saw what Saren did. And I plan to make him pay. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon.
picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone.
inside from the Citadel. Lead the way. I'm here for you. Liara Tassoni, I presume. Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I am in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? There's some kind of propulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. How'd you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the Veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. <laughs> 